Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name's Otty for those who are new here. So today I thought I'd film what I eat in a day and right now I've just woke up. The time is like half ten. It's a bit late to be waking up I know but um yeah so I just woke up and it's time for breakfast. If you haven't already please do subscribe down below and other than that let's go and get breakfast. Sorry if I do seem a bit dead in this first clip. Uh I have just woke up. I've got no energy. Um and why I'm making my breakfast. After breakfast you know the energy should be back up. But for breakfast, I think I'm going to have porridge because I have, I do have a smoothie sometimes, but I think today I want to try and get three meals in because I've got a busy day, so I'm going to need the energy and I think I'd prefer to have a smoothie for lunch. So I'm going to go make porridge now. It's so easy to make, you'll see. It literally takes about five minutes. That's why I do it. And it also tastes good and gives you energy. So that's why I like having porridge. And also, it creates minimal washing up. I'm just going to make a green tea because I have loads of work to do today. So, I know I'll be hungry and I'll get bored as well. So, I want to eat loads. Um, and then, I think I'm just going to have porridge. So, I've got my pan here and my porridge oat. And I didn't really drink... Um, cow's milk when I'm at uni just because I prefer I actually prefer the taste of oat milk this one's just from Aldi but I think my favourite is the Alpro one and then I put milk in I don't use water in my porridge because I think it's disgusting and I like it to be creamy and it's so easy to make oh that's not the right one yeah it's so easy to make it literally will take like not even five minutes from now and then sometimes I'll put fruit on it, but I think I've got quite a lot of fruit in the um, fridge. Let me show you. So in the fridge, look, this is my shelf. So I've got all this fruit. Um, I think I have kiwis as well, and I've got bananas that I need to use up in my room because I don't really know how to keep bananas. Like you don't keep them in the fridge. So I just keep them on the shelf in my room. I do sometimes quite like a coffee as well. Um, but I've not been sleeping very well recently. Well, literally. Oh, I'm scared. I think there's someone looking out the window. Yeah, um, anyway, I'm going to face this way now because I know the lighting's not very good. But out that window there, there was someone in the window opposite watching me. So I just got a bit scared. Um, but yeah, last night I didn't sleep that well. Um, and I think it's because I had a coffee like quite late so I'm not gonna have a coffee this morning I'm just gonna have green tea. I literally know so many people that say they don't like porridge but I love porridge I think it's very nice especially when you put syrup on it. I don't like it plain obviously like that's a bit ugh, dry um, But yeah, it's one of my favorite breakfasts Probably porridge egg on, on egg on toast are like my two favorite things to have for breakfast I'd say it's pretty much done now um it's thickened up nicely. I don't want it to be like too thick and dry. Um, but yeah, that looks like a good consistency. So I'm going to get it out and put it in the bowl. Now that's done, I've got my porridge and green tea. But I just put a bit of the this like golden syrup on it to make it taste a bit nicer. So that it's not dry. Um, like I said before, dry in the back of my throat. And just gives it a bit of flavour really. Just like that. Don't want to put too much. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go and take this in my room to eat now, I think, because I've got some work to do. So I've just come back to my room and I'm sat at my desk because I literally um, have a deadline today. So I do need to get on with that. Um, and I've just bought my green tea and my porridge in here and I'm just going to eat this and get on with a bit of work and then after i've done a bit hopefully it'll be lunch time right i've put on a bit of makeup and i have done a little bit of my essay which i don't actually really need to get on with but oh well we're forgetting about that because it's lunch time and i told you before about these bananas look look at that one in the middle ew 
so i definitely i'm gonna make a smoothie because i want to get rid of that but i'm thinking maybe a smoothie and a crumpet because i now have crumpets in and like what's actually better than a buttery crumpet so um yeah i'm gonna do that now i think i've got strawberries blueberries got that banana um do i have a kiwi i might have a kiwi and some frozen berries so let's go and see what i've got for the smoothie i've got um two massive strawberries blueberries kiwi banana orange juice and the last of these frozen berries um and then over here i've just got my crumpet ready to go in and i'm just gonna wash my fruit now chop it all up and pop it in that cup people who don't wash fruit scare me because like there's like worms on fruit and stuff I, I, I don't even know what it is but yeah just wash your fruit okay okay so the frozen berries are still over here because this got a bit full so i might not add them but it's all chopped and put in there now and now i might add the oh there's quite a lot of room left in there now so i might oh okay so i got it out there's still quite a lot of room in there so i might try and add the frozen berries now to it to make it cold but yeah it's as easy as that so here's the smoothie it looks so much nicer after adding those frozen berries in like just the color looks a lot better and there is my crumpet and i actually i'm meant to be going to the supermarket with my flatmates in a bit um so i'm gonna eat this tidy up the mess i made in the kitchen and then go i still have a few paragraphs to do so Fingers crossed I can get them done before we make dinner. But for dinner tonight, I think I'm going to make a curry. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to eat this now. So, long time no speak. It has actually gone... Can you see that? It has actually gone dark since the last time I spoke to you. But I've been to the supermarket um, and I've got a bit of my essay done. So, I'm on the conclusion now, which is very exciting so yeah i have been busy but it's actually dinner time the time is like half six so i thought i'd start making dinner now i think i said before or i might not have said it but i originally planned on having a curry but now i'm just not feeling that to be honest and especially if i'm gonna um have drinks with my flatmates like a curry is just a bit heavy so i'm thinking i might make a veggie burger and chips because in my fridge I've literally got the best veggie burgers. I'm actually not vegetarian. Um, but I just prefer most vegetarian foods to be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of like meat. Especially when I'm cooking it myself. I don't like cooking meat. Um, so yeah I've got some chips and also steamed veg. So I thought I'd make that. Okay so I'm in the kitchen. Um, and I just wanted to show you what I'm making. So these are obviously just frozen chips. And then these are the burgers. So they're from Aldi. They're like less than £2 for two. I had one of them yesterday, but they're sweet potato. They do a whole range. They do like beetroot, mushrooms. Um, but the sweet potato ones are incredible. Like I'm actually obsessed. So these just go in the oven for like 20 minutes now, 25 minutes, something like that. And then I've just got the like microwavable steam veg to go with it. So it's been like 20 minutes and they finished cooking, but I just thought I'd show you. So this is the burger and I just put it on like a brioche bun. And then I got these um, cheese slices from Aldi. So I'm just gonna get one of them out and then put it back in the oven. And then while I put that back in the oven, I've got these um steamed vegetables so i'll just put those in the microwave for two minutes and then it should all be done so everything's done now and when i put this back in the oven to melt the cheese it also toasted the bun a bit which is nice but i've just put some of this nando's peri peri sauce on the burger and i've also got this for the chips and i put on some chili flakes and paprika on the chips as well just to make them taste a bit better than normal frozen chips i always do that and i think they just taste so much better so this is what my dinner looks like when it's done it's actually so nice it's probably one of my favorite favorite uni meals just because the burgers are literally so tasty so i'm gonna just sit here and eat this now just come back into my room back in the same spot that i always film in i just sorry that i sit here but i just sit here because um like this is where the chair is so I'm not gonna sit anywhere else really, am I? Should I sit on my bed for a bit of a different 
because I can just keep sitting there. I feel like it's getting a bit boring. Is that better? Is that a bit of a change of scenery for you? Um, but anyway, I've just come into my room after finishing dinner and I really enjoyed that dinner. As I said before, that's like one of my favourite dinners I have. And that is basically what I eat in the day. I don't tend to snack. I try not to snack um, because I know it's really bad for you. Well, it's really bad for you if you eat I, I would just eat like crisps and chocolate. That's what I have nearly almost every day. Some days I will just have, like I said before, a late breakfast slash lunch and then dinner. But today I had all three. And yeah, I didn't really change it out. I pretty much have the same breakfast, same lunch. The only thing I change out is the dinner. But I thought you might enjoy watching what I eat. Sorry that I'm not very good cook. I feel like it was quite basic and I am sorry for that, but that is just a reality of being a student, you know. I'm not I'm not that skillful in the cooking department. I'm just gonna be honest. I hope you enjoyed having a little insight into what I eat in a day. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And other than that, I will see you next week in next Sunday's video. Bye!